Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lead Time. In today's video, I will demonstrate you how to do the steam distillation with a lemon balm and make it a hydrosol. And also during the distillation, I will answer some common questions such as what is the best water to herb ratio and how to make essential oil at home and what are the good preparation of the herbs for the best extraction. Yeah, I often heard questions from our audience ask about how to do the distillation and make the best hydrosol and extract the essential oil. And there are a few common questions I will answer during this video, including what is the best ratio between the water and the herb? And can we make essential oil from uh, herbs at home? And what is a good preparation of the herbs? Do we use uh, fresh or dry herbs? Lemon balm is a great example to demonstrate how to make a, a good hydrosol. Lemon balm, also called Melissa, and because it's a Latin name, uh, Melissa, Officinalis. Melissa has a long history being used as a medicinal herb. It's well known to help us to relax, calm, reduce stress. During the clinical study, it can help to improve the memory and even reduce the dementia and Alzheimer's disease, improve the anxiety reduction. Melissa also contains a huge amount of antioxidants. It works very well for the skin. And because it's a light laminate smell, it gives us a good freshing and uplifting the benefits using as a skin or hairspray or just on the spray on the bed, a pillow to help us relax before we go to bed. So today I'm using the dry lemon balm leaf. If you are familiar with this channel, I often use the dry herbs because they are so easy to get and it has much, much longer shelf life. It's very easy to store in the cabinet and when ready, when I want to do the distillation, I just take them out and start the distillation. So I don't worry about the, like a fresh herbs, it will go bad with time. So that's the benefits of the dry herbs. That's one reason for using the dry herb. The other reason is dry herb because it lose most of its moisture from the fresh the herbs. This gives the extraction more efficiency. So that means you can use the less amount of the dry herbs to make the same amount of a, a great quality hydrosol compared with the fresh herbs. So today's distillation, I'm using the KD5. It's a 500 milliliter the steamer. That's where the herbs go in. The structure is you have a pot and a steamer and a condenser. So the herb in the steamer and the water go into the pot. So the first question, do what is the best ratio of the water and the herb? When we are doing the steam distillation, that means the water and the herb, they don't mix. They don't mix. When you mix them together, like you dump the herb in the water into a pot, that is called a hydro distillation so you mix them together so when we do the steam distillation the water and the herb ratio is not a critical so in other words we only care about we have enough water in our pot so we don't worry about what is the ratio you know how much water we put in the pot and compare with the amount of herb in the steamer so but when we do the steam distillation we care about how much hydrosol we make from this amount of the herb so generally 
one to one ratio for KD5 each batch of distillation 500 milliliter this is the first uh, cup that's uh, 150 milliliter about one third of those high quality hydras are gonna make from the batch um, I can see a tiny bit a small drops of the essential oil floating on the top of the hydrosol. Melissa has a very low oil content from a one kilogram of a Melissa. You may make a one milliliter of essential oil. KD5, the one full steamer that take a 50 gram of the dry leaf. So it's normal, you, we don't make a, the oil from such very low oil content herbs uh, lemon balm and a rose but we can make essential oil from those higher oil content herbs like a lavender, oregano, even the peppermint however for Melissa because its essential oil has a major portion of hydrophilic that means it can dissolve in the water so Melissa hydrosol becomes very important to be used, you know, to replace the Melissa essential oil because it contains quite identical composition with its essential oil. The other question is, what is the preparation of the herbs before the distillation? Cut or tear the herbs into a small pieces becomes very effective to improve the extraction efficiency because after we cut it or tear it into a small pieces the phytochemicals within the uh, plant cells has chance to expose and has more opportunity to contact with the steam so that can be extracted out during the distillation Okay, thank you for watching. Please your questions about distillation and extraction of the herbs down below. I will continue uh, watching and uh, give you feedback uh, through the videos. Uh, please like the video, subscribe the channel. See you next time.